So I'm back from the BC Honey Producers Association uh, this week and I was out there and I uh, spoke a few times to the crowd. Had a great time, met a lot of people, made some interesting connections. As I do more of this, I seem to run into a lot of the same people and I'm starting to see the network of beekeepers out there. <clears throat> and new beekeepers and just some excitement and, you know, ambition and ideas so it's really neat connecting with these guys anyways now i'm back uh, the farm is combining soybeans i'm going to be called out to the combines uh, tomorrow we're going to be chopping silage so i'll be packing silage tomorrow and i have carrie going out to do some feeding so we're going to have two nice days here and then the prediction of snow so snow is a whip snow has got us busy so we are trying to get as much done as we can before we get possibly a foot of snow dropped on us. I'm just going through and doing some washes. I haven't done any washes yet, but I just want to see as this nest finishes emerging, I just want to see where this mite level is just to make sure I don't get caught off guard because I'm running out of time if I have to do something about it. We'll be running uh, oxalic acid next week if we're not stuck in snow. But they'll be getting a vapor treatment just before we bring them inside anyways. I was going to scale some hives, but, you know, BC's not that far away, but it's two hours and I'm still working on a bit of jet lag. So I left the scale back in the honey house, so I'll have to go back and get that after I get closer to home. Anyways, we've got to get these hives fed up because that threat of snow just keeps coming at us. Winter is near. Ninety-five pounds.
that is 105 pounds. I'm going to give these guys a better shake tonight, but there's only one mite in here, so I'm thinking there's roughly 100 or 200 bees, so that's good. These nests I pretty much set up for winter, and I should be seeing an increase in mite counts if there's any type of problem. So these hives are scaling 95 to 105 pounds, so they're fed right up. So they're a little bit heavier than I anticipated they were. So that is really good. I'm still putting out a gallon of pail just to satisfy the big ones. Those ones sitting about 95 pounds were like a box of bees. And I imagine there's more brood in there when I started feeding heavy a few weeks ago. And the brood has emerged and now there's open space. And they could take on just a little bit. I don't want these great big hives to fall short. And I might feed a little bit heavier than a lot of people do, uh, but what I do is I just feed them right the hell up. And, you know, I'm looking at five, five and a half months of winter here. So it's gonna give them lots of opportunity to open up that middle of the nest to be able to create some room for winter brood later on. And if they're still a little bit too heavy in the spring, that's not a problem whatsoever. All I do is pull a frame of honey out, drop an empty frame in, provide them a little bit more space and use that feed frame on another hive uh, that might be running a bit short. You typically nukes. So anyway, that's kind of settled me down a little bit. <clears throat> I haven't been back here for... Well, we haven't been able to get back into this yard for two and a half weeks now. It might even be three weeks. And I was thinking, you know, i got to assess these guys to make sure they have enough stores just so I know what weight they are going in. And according to my math, everything is just the way I have planned it, so... Rest be assured, I should be able to send carry out to do some top-ups and I should be able to pack silage all day tomorrow. <laughs>